Debbie Spetz never coached a volleyball team to a regional championship, but Debbie, who lost a courageous battle to ovarian cancer back in July, defined what true success is by investing in young women, not only as coach, but also mentor. She's kind of been behind the motivation throughout the season of, you know, what would Debbie want to see? And even for me as the coach, part of it is, okay, how would Debbie respond to this situation? What would Debbie say? That kind of thing. So she's there all the time. I think she's always been a big push for us this season. Mm -hmm. Too, it's a, and it's a, it's a young women's team too. I mean, how big a deal is that for you guys to have that awareness of what cancer is, especially in young women too? You know, it, it's huge. And it's something, you know, at this age, the girls aren't necessarily thinking of until somebody that they're close to is affected by it. Um, it's always kind of, you know, that's not going to happen to me. That's not going to happen to my loved one. But unfortunately, it does. And for the girls to know that those things are out there, you know, to know the resources that they need to go to, um, either for the tests to get or the doctors to get, it's it's huge to know that they, there's things that they can do to prevent it now. The most thing she taught us is to not take anything for granted because she never did. Mm -hmm. um, she was so strong throughout her battles with cancer. And... Um, I think like the most part is we're trying to keep her spirit alive. She never got down on us. She was always happy, never got sad. She like embraced it. You can't take anything for granted. Like you can't take being able to play sports, being able to have like time, like she had time with Theo, her grandson. Yeah. And it's just makes you think like, not everything's perfect in here, but we need to like savor what we have and like be happy no matter what. Back in April, Debbie handpicked Bree Christensen to succeed her as head volleyball coach here in Galva. Now, Bree played under Debbie for four years at Kiwani High School. And certainly all that speaks to Bree as she pours into these young lives. It was cool that Debbie like picked her out and we were all thinking, oh my God, this is gonna be so cool. We're gonna have one of her favorite players coming in to coach us and like it's gonna be like Debbie was here, but through Bree. Having played for Debbie, you know, we never always had the most successful record either, but her victory was, you know, making us into good young women and mm -hmm. making us into people that we should be proud of and hardworking individuals that are work hard in the classroom and out in the community that, you know, the wins are on the court are just part of it, but if we can get out in the community and do a little more, that's that was always her true win. Before I even met Debbie, volleyball was just like my favorite sport, but now it means so much more to be like practicing hard and working hard to get that goal for Debbie because she never wanted to lose. She mm -hmm. always wanted us to win. Mm -hmm. so, and now on the same court that she, she used to go up and down yeah. blowing whistles and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to play this out for her. I feel like the season is going probably how she would want it to be, and that's really cool. On September 18th, the Galva girls will host a Play for the Cure night, a chance to not only honor their former coach, but also raise funding for the Ovarian Cancer Awareness Foundation. You can contact the school on how you can help financially with that or participate in the night itself. Also, if you're looking for information on FCA, you can go to our two websites at fca.org or illawafca.org.